There is a phrase in America, it's called keeping your cool. It means not getting angry. Don't get too hot with, with bubbling over anger, but instead keep your cool. It is absolutely terminating the tantrum that you might have in life. In Proverbs 22, verse 25, it says, Bad temper is contagious. Don't get infected. Well, we do get infected when we have a a bad temper or we're around others that have a bad temper. Keep cool because anger is not an argument. It is much better if you are calm. You can face life's challenges better when you're calm. Temper tantrums are usually, 100% of the time, unproductive. They are not attractive in the person If you have one, and I had one one time at an auto dealership when they wouldn't fix my car the right way, and it was a real lemon. And that was 30 years ago, and I still remember that. And how unattractive I was at that time, and I'm sure anyone that was there at that dealership remembers it too, and I don't want to be remembered that way. When you do that kind of thing, it is unforgettable. And it's unnecessary, my friend. It is uncomfortable for you. It's the thing that causes heart attacks. And it's uncomfortable for everyone that is around you. In Proverbs 16.32, it says, Controlling your temper is better than capturing a city. When you learn to take control of you, and your attitudes, and your emotions, then you have mastered a lot in life. If you've allowed anger to become a regular visitor in your home, uh, evict it. Don't allow it in there anymore. Ask God for wisdom, for patience, and for a heart that is filled with love, and a heart that is filled with forgiveness. And that will be the new order of every day. You will get to a point that you're so infilled with God's love that there's no room for bitterness. Bitterness is an emotional poison, and its, its coarseness is absolutely corrosive inside of you. If you desire emotional peace, and I know you do, or you wouldn't be watching this, if you desire spiritual comfort, and I know you do, one important step is finding ways, lasting ways, to control your temper. God will help you terminate the tantrums. Uh, If you ask God, and why not ask God today for God's help? It'll be better than capturing a city you may just recapture the goodwill and the affection of those that are around you. And I pray that you do.